my mustache showing pretty good. Welcome back to another video, guys. So we just received more packages right over here. All right, let's see what we got here. So for the first one, we have a ring filer. Let's see what else we got. Oh, bearings. So our first set of bearings. And just what we need, our flex hone. We also ordered our feeler gauge. If I can get this open. And our bore gauge, just the one we were looking for. valves, valve grinding compound, and we have our oil pump. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is cut the flex hone out. So we're gonna go ahead and do the first bore. Um, what I'm gonna show you guys right now is the glazing. So that's what we're trying to get rid of. And let me show you guys what that looks like. All right, there we go. So, you guys can see, get an idea of how glazed or how glossy those walls are. So that's what we're trying to get rid of right now. So let's go ahead and give that first one a shot. Are you? Wow. This is a lot bigger than I expected. I guess I've never seen one in person. Looks pretty cool. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our first bore. Um, I have a little bit of oil right here. I'm gonna rub it around the cylinder wall and then I'm gonna get the home on the drill and go ahead and start the first one. So let's uh, get some oil on there. All right guys, all set up. Honestly a little nervous, but just gotta get it done. All right, so look at that. So we got a nice cross hatch all the way around. And that's exactly what we were looking for. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is do it for the remaining seven bores. And uh, once I'm done, I'll get the camera back in there just so you guys can take a look. All right guys, so these came out awesome. Look at that. We got a nice pattern on all of them. You can definitely see it here. Perfect. What's going on guys? So, welcome back to, I guess day two. Um, so, I ended up calling it quits for the previous unboxing um, clip that we had. So, reason being is because I realized that I needed a set of calipers to zero out my bore gauge. Um, I didn't have that, so without it, measuring the bores was gonna be completely pointless. Pointless. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do today is measure our bores now that we do have a caliper, and um, Justin's here to help me today. Uh, that day that I was filming, I was by myself, so it'll be easier to film and have an extra pair of hands. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So here's our stock bore diameters, our, our uh, I guess, range. Um, so we have to be anywhere within this range now that we've honed the block. So the hone is done and uh, just used a flex hone for that. 
um, cleaned all of the cylinders and we should be all set there. But right now I'm gonna wipe them down because just sprayed some more oil on it just to make sure it doesn't rust. So like I said, let's go ahead and get started and see what we can get on these bores. So got the, the dial set up and what I'm able to do now that I have these calipers is we're gonna set this right here and I'm gonna set my calipers to zero. So right now they're zeroed out and I'm gonna go up to four inches. So now that I'm set to four inches, I'm gonna go ahead and zero out my bore gauge. All right, so we're off. Three hundred, I think. Yeah, just off by a little bit. One, two, three. We'll try there. Oh, oh. oh. I didn't have to move it. Good, we're good there. It looks good. It's not going up any higher. No. Nope. Are you looking at it the, at the right angle? Right there. What's yeah. that? Is that's it zero? Perfect? That's right zero, dude. Perfect. Right on zero. Okay. All right. So again, we're at four inches here, and we're zeroed out. I'm gonna lock it in. Now, whatever our difference is here, we're gonna subtract it from zero, or subtract it from four, or add, add, right? Add to the four inches. Yeah, That's yeah, what we'd be doing. Inches. All right, so let's go ahead and give our first one a shot. And just come over here on this side so they can see what we got going on here. I'm gonna shut off our caliper. And let's see what we got. So we're gonna start at the middle, down the middle of our bore and see what we get it's 4.001 mm -hmm. so that's our bore diameter um so that was the middle of the bore so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is measure bottom middle top bottom i'm going to come up about an inch from the top i'm going to go down about an inch then once that's set for all eight bores, then I'm gonna measure for the, the boards being out of round. So we're gonna measure a bit of an angle um, going this way and then the opposite way. And again, one inch from the top, one inch from the bottom. And towards the end, we should have three separate measurements. So what we're looking for again is anywhere between 4.007 and 4.0017. We're gonna fast forward, we're gonna get these measured out and then we'll show you guys our results. All right guys, so we finished off all of our measurements and our biggest, me or biggest diameter was 4.001. So that's gonna be our piston size. We were thinking about getting a hone to five over, uh, .005, uh, but we decided not to. Um, we found some pistons that'll work. We're gonna have a lower compression to run a decent amount of boost later on. So that's what we're gonna go with. So that's pretty much it. That's all we got for today, folks. So thanks for watching. Again, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Justin got a new phone, by the way. What, oh, what, you, what do you got? Oh, yeah, what, dude. What is it? The X? The X Max Pro. Nice, dude. That's sick. But yeah, so, I'm gonna be posting some badass pictures now. Yep. You guys can see my pores. <laughs> but yeah, cool. All right, so, like I said, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, and that should be it for today. So, thanks a lot, guys. See you guys next time.